guys welcome to part 31 of laravel 10 tutorial in which we are getting the admin panel and we are working on roles and permission from last few videos uh, we able to update the roles and permission for the sub admin and now uh, we will uh, add little more changes to make the module dynamic here you can see uh, okay i'm going to open the page the admin controller uh, where we are updating the roles with the update role function and here you can see that we have uh, taken it statically like cms pages we have added here uh, but uh, there can be multiple modules uh, are there if we are going to add 10 15 modules then uh, we may require to add this code again and again so that is not correct okay so we will make this code dynamic in for each loop so that it will be added just once no cms pages kind of thing here we will add this module dynamic uh, so that it will update dynamic as well so that you can add multiple modules as well it will work fine just you need to add this module in form okay there also you can make it dynamic with some efforts okay so right now we are going to make this uh, function dynamic so that we are not required to add every module separately okay so here uh, once we have uh, deleted all the earlier roles for the sub admin after that uh, we will add the for each loop okay so uh, i can keep it like this later on i am going to remove this one so for each loop i am going to add here and here i am going to uh, pick this data dollar data okay and after picking this data here uh, see here i am going to uh, use the is set is set in inside is set i'm going to take this dollar value and the view will come here first thing is that view we are going to check the view that the view is coming or not and if the view is coming then we will put this one in dollar view okay and like dollar view value of this view like dollar value of view is one or maybe zero okay so see value will always be one if the data is coming inside this only then it will work it it will be shown as one okay it will be one and in else condition we are going to put this view as zero so this view can be anything view for cms pages view view for some other module like products module category module in the case of e-commerce okay or in uh, that uh, uh, for any other website there may be some other module so it depends okay so now you can see uh, see here sorry here dollar value, dollar value view okay like this so this is for view and for edit as well we are going to add in the same way like we have added for view we are going to add for the edit as well and here uh, we are going to make it edit okay and for the full access as well we are going to copy and we'll paste it for the full access as well okay full okay so after adding this one uh now i think uh, we can uh we can add this command here add new add sorry add new roles for some admin dynamically okay so uh, we are going to remove this one and after that uh, here roles equal to new admin role and here also uh, module name e will come in dollar key okay uh dollar key okay so let's add in dollar key and uh view assess again uh view assess is the dollar view whatever the value of the view will that will come here then edit then full okay then finally we're going to save here you can see there is nothing like cms but you can see we have removed it completely okay but the question is that we can able to update it or not and here also sub admin roles updated successfully uh, here this message we are going to up, uh, update we will mention the sub admin uh, name as well okay uh, so for that uh, i think we need to uh, check the details for this sub admin okay so we can get the details here we are not getting the details so far of the sub admin okay so here we will get the sub admin details from the admin table where uh, id will match with this dollar id first we can take it the two array okay so 
uh, its detail its name will come inside this sub admin uh, so name we can attach like uh, here we can uh, add some title as well that we can give there okay uh, sorry here we are required to add this uh, not here we will here this one we are going to add this here okay sub admin roles then sub admin details like this okay so we are going to add this here as sub admin and here also the title we are going to see the title is here so i'm going to remove this title from here and we'll keep it at down here i'm going to do it like this okay and here i'm going to add this title as well and this title we are going to modify now update uh, here i'm going to pick this one and i'm going to type this name that's a word name will come up here okay so after that we will uh, uh, type is not required to show sub admin roles and permission okay update this one sub admin roles and permission now it seems to be fine okay uh, so rest everything is fine okay so we can try now let's refresh and i'm going to click on submit first of all and see here sub admin roles permit uh, successfully but here uh, update amit sub admin roles permission uh okay update um, with some admin role permission so that is fine i'm going off here and we'll set the permission for this john singh uh, see here update john singh some admin role and permission uh, so it seems to be fine here but uh, in title i don't think that uh, uh, in title that much uh, content is required okay so we are going to modify in title uh, here in title i think uh, uh here just sub admin is required because that is the main heading we are working on with sub admin so here the sub admin must come uh okay so sub admin is coming fine then uh, here we can show this one update john singh sub admin role permission so that is fine here okay but here sub admin must come uh so i think now it seems to be fine now we are going to click on view assess and view assess uh, this one then we're going to click on submit and here you can see that we can able to uh, update the sub admins role and permission so here just uh, we have given the name here so for every sub admin we can able to know that for which sub admin we are updating the roles and permission okay and we are updating this dynamically uh, in for it loop so just you are required to add the module here after that you can uh no uh, you are not required to add it here okay in function it it will work dynamically okay so i hope that this one is clear to you and uh, now uh, see these sub admins and roles and permissions uh, we will check with the sub admin module like we have now created the module uh, that uh, sub admin assess for john singh we will try to log in from the john singh uh, account uh like john singh login and then we'll see the like john singh like if we have done this cms pages then john singh will have access to uh to the view and edit access for the cms pages the rest of the modules is going to disable from the john singh like this we are going to work on that thing in the next video uh we are going to uh the next video will be the final one in which we are going to uh, finish this one and we will give the assess real assess like uh, when the John Singh will log in, he will be able to see his only modules for which the access is given to him. Okay, so please stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.